a bridge unit for use between function control and display circuitry. Essentially an on-off control device. This cube contains a significant amount of circuitry. An interface cable. A small thick card. It has an indicator showing that it has been charged recently. Nothing unusual about that object, Captain. It is now possible for me to shut down a force field at some other location. I do not know where or what the force field protects. Yes, I'm getting tired of force fields. One less will be a pleasure no matter what it does. No, let's look around a bit more first. Yes, I'm getting tired of force fields. Captain, my attempt to turn off the force field has triggered some sort of computer activity. It is requesting that I allow some sort of display to occur on the screen. Shall I allow it? I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's wait. By all means, Spock. Curiosity may kill cats, but I'm hoping humans will fare a little better. I don't know if that's by all means. That's comforting, Jim. It appears we have chosen correctly, Captain. The controls indicate that the force field has been dropped. Spock is too intent on studying things to get involved in a conversation right now. Machines. Machines everywhere. Not a body to fix. Not exactly festive around here, is it? A large machine with lights cycling on its front side. A small stone, eight-pointed star suspended from the ceiling. A large eight-pointed blue and white star has been inlaid in the stone floor. An impressive looking machine of alien manufacture. A series of readout displays. Extremely smooth rock walls, dome construction. Spartan look, suggesting function over form. A relatively small machine full of electronics with a glass port on the front. Mr. Spock, a man of logic untainted by emotion. The intuitive Captain James T. Kirk looking forward to another adventure. Dr. McCoy actually enjoys being part of an adventure. It gives him something to complain about. You know, I've got the feeling this is bigger than it looks. And I don't mean just more space beyond this door. McCoy just grumbles about being here. There is information to be obtained here, Captain. This star is made from native minerals and shows the propensity to emit low-level light. It shows a high degree of machining, Captain. It appears to be a detection device. Judging by the complexity of its circuitry, I would gather that it is quite sensitive. It is a powerful transmitter, unlike anything in Starfleet records. 
Gas plasma displays, Captain. Readings show that they have been activated recently. Gas plasma displays, Captain. Readings show that they have been activated recently. The mineral compounds in the star are not native to the surrounding regions, which indicates that it has been imported. How can you be sure, Spock? It is extremely similar to synthetic corn blue sapphire. Oh. It is a scanner with both long-range and detailed capabilities. It appears to be a detection device. Judging by the complexity of its circuitry, I would gather that it is quite sensitive. No, I don't think that's necessary. 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 I am fairly certain it is a transmitter of some type, Captain. While the construction and circuitry are totally unfamiliar to me, I do notice a lack of signal focusing or the ability to go omnidirectional or any other similar change. However, the system is slaved to track to a general sector of the galaxy. Information is passed following a random signal pattern with the lead pulse carrying the coding keys. English spot, please. That was English, Captain. To rephrase, the signal is permanently directed to one area of the galaxy, an area I believe the Federation has yet to explore. The signal beam is not tight enough to fix an exact planet or even a specific system. These settings cannot be changed. Then this is a sort of monitoring system only? Quite possibly. Furthermore, the signal frequency is 0. .00052 angstroms, and the transmissions are coded. Captain, unless someone was looking for this signal in particular, chances are it would be dismissed as background radiation, cosmic rays. You learned all that by just playing with the console on a machine you've never seen before? I am the science officer, Doctor, and a Vulcan. A sensor device, quite sensitive. This system detected the geological scan from the Demeter. Chances are good that it had already detected the Demeter's presence. Then why not scan the Demeter immediately? That would have certainly alerted the ship to the presence of this equipment. Whatever or whoever controls this waited until its detection had already occurred. As I assumed earlier, this is a scanning device. The architecture is quite interesting and quite elegant. Captain, whoever constructed this is probably more technologically advanced than we are. And taller. Look at how high the console is. Good observation, Bones. Thank you, Jim. But not necessarily correct. It is logical to assume they do work at a higher level, however. Are you trying to say their hands come out of their heads, Spock? I am not assuming they have hands, Doctor. As I assumed earlier, this is a scanning device. And taller. Good observation. Thank you, Jim. But not necessary. Are you trying to s I am not assuming. No effect. No effect. No effect. This is kind of fun. Too bad this machinery is not my field of expertise. This is kind of fun. Too bad this machinery is not my field of expertise.
This star is made from native minerals and shows the propensity to emit low-level light. It shows a high degree of machining, Captain. A three-dimensional version of the X's from the floor hang from the ceiling. A series of expanding X's laying one atop the other is etched into the floor. It took considerable power to form this room. It took considerable power to form this room. It took considerable power to form this room. A large computer sits in front of you. In some ways, it reminds you of a reduced version of the historic Univac system. A recharging station. Dr. McCoy feels quite out of place here. There's something about this whole place that troubles the captain. Spock ponders the design of the machines. I just keep asking myself, who? Who's behind all this? You get no response. I have to get the name of the interior decorator. An interesting place, Captain. There seems to be a reason for it beyond the obvious.